welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to go straight into it. I'm going to do my top 10 favourite drugstore makeup products as I found this video is really popular and I love seeing what new drugstore makeup products people have and what like people recommend because I'm finding drugstores actually a lot better than high end at the moment and I seem to be like working with it better. So yeah, let's just get started. show you are the Revolution Conceal and Define Foundation and the Conceal and Define Concealer. These are both amazing. I think this one was £9 and this one was between £4 or £5 and oh my god together they are perfect on their own they're amazing. I use this one more just to carve my brows out but this one is literally full coverage. It's just I literally love it. The amount of product you get as well is quite a big bottle and obviously the packaging is rose gold so it was definitely a yes. And look, it's such a weird wand, it's huge, it's like a giant concealer, but I love this. I'm quite pale, so I got mine in F1, which is one of the palest shades. And with my concealer, I got mine in the shade C05. It's quite a pink toned one, and the wands are really similar, but I definitely recommend them both. They are both such high coverage. This is also a dupe of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I don't know if this is a dupe of anything, but I absolutely love them both and I definitely recommend them both. So go check these out. Oh my god, like these are both my holy grail at the moment. On to powder, I sort of don't really use powder <clears throat> as my foundation is quite full coverage and like, I just use setting spray normally. But I recently bought a new powder as I was fed up my MUA one, found it wasn't really giving me the coverage or the setting that I needed when I did want to use it for like work or if I'm going out for the day and want to keep my makeup on. But I found the PS by Promark's My Perfect Colour. This is a mattifying powder, so I don't use this with my matte foundations because my skin's quite dry. But I got mine in, I think this is like the lightest shade, porcelain. It's very, very pale. But it's actually really good coverage. I definitely recommend this. Like, I actually use this quite a lot now. And it's, it's just good if I don't want, like, heavy makeup. So I'll just use a bit of concealer and then just top it off with this. So yeah, I think this was like £2, but it's definitely worth trying it if you don't want to spend too much on a powder or you're just starting out with makeup and you need like a new powder, this is one that's quite good. So on to blushes, I've been using the MUA blushes quite a lot recently as these are the ones I work well with, um, they just blend well with my skin. I've got one in the shade Marshmallow, which is also a dupe of the MAC Dolly Mix blush, I'm pretty sure it is. And then I've just got the shade Bomb Bomb, which you can't see because it's quite dark, so I'm just going to open it up it's literally like this it's more of an orangey peachy tone and as i have quite fair skin i do use these this one's a lot brighter so i don't use it very often but they're only a pound each they're amazing i definitely recommend trying them out so on to another revolution product as revolution are my go-to product like makeup brand at the moment the revolution dip brow pomade which i will keep recommending this because it's so so good like Honestly, my brows have been on fleek recently. <laughs> I absolutely love this. It's very similar. It's pretty much a dupe of the Anastasia Dip Brow, but I couldn't work well with that. I found it dried out too much, and even when I put a special oil in it, it still dried out, but I literally love this. As you can see, I have hit like the bottom of the jar of it, and I get mine in dark brown, as obviously my hair's really dark. Um, I think there is a black one, but I find like this is more natural for my hair color for some reason. But these are around £6. I definitely recommend them. They also do come with a brush and they are so, so good. It makes like the lines very fine and they don't smudge all day either. I absolutely love this. I'm not really sure if you class this next product as drugstore, but the Kiko Mascara. Now, I got this on their promotion for £2.90, which is so, so good. And I actually need a new mascara. This is their Luxurious Lashes one. It is a huge brush. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, the packaging's pretty the packaging is like massive as well though it's quite a big wand but it does do the job i currently am wearing this at the moment and it does give me more like volume in my eyelashes as mine are quite short and quite thin and this has definitely worked i definitely recommend this one like kiko is a great brand anyway i personally get on with their products really well i also do like some of their foundations and their highlighters are amazing so yeah i definitely recommend if you haven't tried kiko it's very affordable i'm not sure whether it's drugstore or hand so i put it in this one because it's quite cheap but you can't get in like obviously Boots or Superdrug. They have a shop called Kiko, which is also online, but I definitely recommend their products. 
Okay, on to highlighters. This is the only one out of anyways that doesn't have like no lid on it or isn't like really messy. But um, this is the peach diamond one. It is so pigmented. These are only three pound. If you want a highlighter and don't want to spend like 40 pound on a palette or like 20 pound on like one, this is definitely one for you. Oh my God, it's so pigmented. I love the pink shade. I actually have it on at the moment. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I absolutely love this. This is one I've used like twice now. This is like the second purchase I've made. I hit pan on my last one, so I had to buy a new one. I absolutely love this. And I also love the original like iridescent gold one. They do blue ones, they do so many different ones. They're basically like dupes of the Skin Frost by Jeffree Star, but I actually prefer the formula of these ones as well, so yeah. Okay, on to eyeshadow. So I do, as you guys know, I do like to treat myself occasionally to a high-end palette, but obviously this is my drugstore one, and I am using my drugstore ones a lot more at the moment. So I'm just gonna go into my favorite ones. These are the Revolution ones. I have the Iconic Division palette, which I use a lot, and I can make so many different looks out of it. These are also only £4. This is so hard to open. Eh, there we go. This is the Iconic Division. I love these uh, shades, this one. Oh my god, and this one works perfectly as well. You also get like a, a shimmery shade here. These are a couple of shimmery ones, but they're mainly matte ones, and I just find you can either have like a natural look or quite a bold look with this. But this is one of my favourite ones. I also have the Iconic Fever palette, which is more like red and orange tones. And this is a really pretty palette for this time of year. It's very autumnal. I definitely recommend it. And I'm pretty sure you can still buy these. I've had mine for ages, but they are so pigmented. I will give you a few like sort of swatches. Oh my God. Like honestly, the foils in this palette are so pretty, especially the gold one at the beginning. I absolutely love it. But I've like worn it down to like pan. So yeah, that's my other revolution one I love. I just wanna say thank you to my girlfriend for picking me up this palette because I really, really like it. And she treated me, even though I was like, oh no, like I don't want you to buy it, I feel bad. She bought me the I Heart Revolution, which is another part of Revolution's brand, but they have like a couple of parts. Do you have the Revolution Pro as well? This is the Angel Heart one. Oh my God, it reminds me so much of the Modern Renaissance, but I absolutely adore this. It is so pigmented. I think this one was around six pound, but oh my God, it's just so pretty. Like these ones don't have um, shade names or anything. I need to like swatch some of them because I just can't get over the pigments on them. Oh my God, like, come on. They blend well. Like the amount of looks I've created with this already, I literally love it. And I find the foiled ones are so, so like, bright as well they're great for like instead if you just don't want to use glitter or something like this is one of my favorites they also do like a mermaid one they have so many different ones so please go check them out okay on to lip balms you guys if you've been watching my channel for a while will know i love my lip balms but some of my favorites through winter as it's getting to that time of year where i literally have to pile on the lip balm because my lips just get so dry are my eos balms you get these in boots i'm pretty sure superdrug sell them as well they're around 650 but oh my god they're so worth it and they do so many different like scents as well it's great and like flavors oh my god they actually smell really good as well this is the uh spearmint one which i've had for ages I really want to pick up their new ones. They're like clear inside, as you can tell. I think I've worn this one down a little bit too much. This was the strawberry sorbet one. I definitely recommend, it's my favorite. I've been through two of these and then I have the watermelon one. Oh my God, it smells so good. I actually forgot how good they smell. But I definitely recommend these if you're looking for a new lip balm and just something a little different. These are kind of different and I love them. I've just realized how much Revolution stuff I've actually shown in this video, but okay, let's just go and show some more because their brand is amazing. Um, their lipsticks. So these are my two favorites. I do have like one of their new matte ones and it is a matte version of this one, but I absolutely love their lipsticks. They're so creamy. They are dupes of MAC, but I'm not sure if the shades are dupes or anything, but I literally love them. And they're only, well, this one was three pound. This was four, cause this is Soaps and Soaps like products are amazing. Like go check them out. I have this nude colour in Chauffeur, which I will swatch for you, because I absolutely love it. I wear it on a daily basis, it's more of like a daily colour to wear. This one was £3, this one's also matte, um, I think this one's matte as well, and this one is Cake by Soph. 
this one so it's more of a like pinky nude but it's a really pretty color i absolutely love them both i definitely recommend trying them out and also like you really can't go wrong with rose gold packaging so yeah so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video go and give it a thumbs up go click subscribe also i'm gonna do a high-end like favorite product one as well so if you want to see that like i said go subscribe and turn my bell on so you guys know when it's up and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see you in my next video